Friends Thirsty Thursday. I'm Lori. And I'm Warren. And um, we have not been on for a little while. Um, it just seems like there's always stuff going on during the summer. And, Busy. We're um, in a drought. Yeah, we're in a drought. And, and it's, I think, um, on the thermometer in the shade down there, it said 101. When I was driving home tonight, my truck said 108. Oh, it wow. kept fluctuating between 107 and 108. Wow. So, I mean, in the shade, though, I mean, so it probably really, um, depending on where you're at, I'm sure it's hot, but. So, the beer um, should taste good. The beer, sh the beer should taste good, for sure, yes. And um, we're going to start right off with uh, my <laughs> Sour Me Double Triple Berry. Hmm. It's by Duclaw Brewing Company. It's an Imperial Sour Ale. Um, seven percent alcohol. Um, Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, <clears throat> Duclaw has some pretty good beers. I I know we've had some um, that were sent to us. Um, craft be cherished, rules be damned. It says on here. Okay. Um, it's ale with strawberry, blackberry, and pink. Raspberry. Oh, so, hmm. let's see. I don't know if I ever knew pink Tri raspberry. Um, yeah. Triple the berry for th for the triple the flavor. Sip, sip back on this sweet sour, as a cascade of berry essence flows out with aromas of juicy strawberries, blackberries, and pink raspberries. So, it looks really good. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't say. Hoping I taste the raspberries and the blackberries more than the strawberries. Where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> the raspberries and the blackberries. <laughs> uh, kind of had me fooled on the color. Yeah, I know. It doesn't look like it would be a berry beer. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what it smells like. I don't know about our stand. <laughs> I get something. That's a big can. I mean, I know. the can of beer is big for that stand. Right, right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. It's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely there's a sweetness to it. Um, when not, I smell it, I smell just a hint of strawberry. I don't get it, and it's not real sour. That's some of the sours are a little too sour for me. But this one's not. This one's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. It's um, it's it's a it's a nice crisp beer. Um, didn't have much of a head on it. No. Um, Kind of taste the strawberry a little bit. Right there at the end, I think I did too. But I don't not really taste. That it matters, but. but yeah, no, it's it's not a, a strong. Um, I don't taste the blackberry and the raspberry. I think I taste raspberry. I don't know. <clears throat> it's. You want more? Or you want to go on the next one? Yeah. We'll, we're going to do it again, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that one, uh, that one, uh, that was nice. It was just, I mean, it was nice, clear beer. There's nothing to hang in the glass. But, all right, so let's move on. Alrighty. This one was one we got a while back. And it's, um, we got it in Herman. We went to Herman um, back at the end of um, uh, April. It's, it's Herman's newest brewery. Um, it's the Turbulence um, Brewing Company um, in Herman, Missouri. But it's kind of their wingling. Um, classic lager, original amber, amber beer. So it's kind of their... Take off on Yingling. Yingling. Yeah. 
Um, this is our version of a classic Vienna style lager. We spent years searching the entire state of Missouri looking for a lager like this. Couldn't find one, so we had to make one. So, 4.5% um, on the alcohol, and again, it's by Turbulence um, Brewing Company. So, and I'm trying to remember the name of the restaurant that it, the brewery and the restaurant are owned by the same people, and it's kind of an aviation theme. That's why the wing. Wing, wing, yeah. wings of an airplane. Right. Uh, but you don't remember? No, I'll probably look it's it up. Definitely an amber. Uh, nice, pretty color. Um, remember, did we have this when we were there that day? I think I might have. You might have. Um, you were drinking that berry stuff. Yeah. Cheers. It has a caramel kind of, yeah, kind of a caramel. Yeah. It's a little bit, a little bit strong. Heavy. Yeah. yeah. It's it's stronger than a yinling is. It's pretty good though. Nice yeah. and cold. Yeah. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Restaurant that is. Um. Wasn't it Wings? Something with the Wings? I mean, that was the name of the restaurant. Something Wings. Um, I don't really think it says on this can, does it? Um, brewed and canned by Wings Ablazing. Wings That's Ablazing. It. Yep. Wings Ablazing. That so, was it. Um, we weren't yeah. ready for lunch, so we didn't have any of their wings, but they're supposed no. to be really good. Yeah. You'll have to take me there sometime. About a two hour drive, at least. Yeah. Not a bad, not a bad beer. It's, nope. I mean, it's, it is a little bit heavier than that other one, but a little bit. I would expect that being a lager. Yeah. I mean, but it's got a kind of caramel taste, I think. I don't know why I feel like that. Right, it's, that's not bad at all. All right, okay. Our third beer. How many are you doing tonight? <laughs> I got four in the bag. Um. This was um, sent to us by, well, the first one, the very first one is Sour Me. That was also sent to us by some friends of ours. Um, this one was also sent, the Muchacho. It's by the Good People Brewing Company. Um, what is Mexican. That? I don't, I don't know. That's Mexican. Let's see. It's all in Spanish. You can't read it. <laughs> Good People Brewing Company. Um, it is. Uh, Can we even tell what kind of beer it's supposed to be? 12 fluid ounces. I got that. Um, <laughs> um, well, let's store it. Drink at 40 to 45 degree temperature. Well, that ain't going to happen. <clears throat> Um, We're not far from that, probably. I'm looking for just the how, amount of alcohol. Um, well, <laughs> um, let's see. Leaves a lot to only, the imagination. Only the num, only the easiest drinking Mexican drinking Mexican style, style lager north or south of the border. Crisp, clear, and tasty. This good ombre is salty, good. Did I say salty? Is my bugle for children at cookouts, ball games, or your next fiesta? It's like some of it's in Spanish and some of it's in English. 
<laughs> they, were, they were hitting the sauce a little too much when they made that label, I think. <laughs> um, it, it's crazy because there is no percentage Mexican style lager. Got it usually that. has it in this I know. warning well, letter. Well, I don't see. Not, not getting pregnant and stuff. Um, what does that say right there? It's just a batch number or something. Okay. Well, we don't really. All right. We we've, don't. We've know wasted the, enough we, time. Yeah, we we've wasted more time than we could to. But um, not sure about the percentage on alcohol, but. <laughs> Did it smell bad? It kind of pulled away. I'm not sure. It's always different out of the can versus the glass. Yeah. It smells like a lager. Wait. When we were it's in nice. Guatemala, it's a nice, crisp, clear beer. When we were in Guatemala, that we drank, you know, they speak Spanish, of course, and one of the local beers had like a, a rooster on it, and we couldn't read any of the labeling, but we just said, "Bring us another chicken beer." <laughs> <And> we were. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's a nice, crisp beer. I mean, it's, it's a smooth beer. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, I'm not sure what I would compare it to. Maybe a Corona. Yeah. Or uh, not a Corona. How about that Modelo? 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 I don't know. I think of a Modelo as um, heavier than this. Oh, interesting. So, Steve and Nancy sent that to us? Mm -hmm. oh. It doesn't even have a date on it. We'll have to go get us a six pack and we'll mm -hmm. see more. 2000. I mean, go to Mexico made, and get them. Made in um, 2000. That's Echo. Echo. Um. I don't know. That, that's something about legal or legitimate. Uh, legality. You keep sucking me in to try to decipher <laughs> this, and I don't want to. <laughs> Anybody out there know the percentage on alcohol? Um, comment on this video whenever you watch it. I would love to know. I'm, I'm sure and, I'll look it up. And they got a picture of, you know, the little emblem, Good People Brewing Company. That's all in English in a, an old Chevy truck. It's on the foot. I guess it's on both sides. Yeah. Uh, Wait, right. Is the other side in English? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it shouldn't be right here. It's yeah. 40 to 45 degrees. It should say... Just blind. Anyway. Maybe All they right. don't have to in Mexico, so they don't. You know, that way they don't have to hit a standard. Some batches may be stronger than others. I'm not sure I would call that a craft beer. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't I, know either. Um, I mean. Good people brewing company. Sounds, sounds kind of low. I mean, it's a, but it's not, it's, a, it's not a bad beer. No. I just wished it would have put the alcohol on it. I don't know why that's just bothering me. I could drink a, a couple of those with some chicken wings or popcorn or whatever. Yeah. All right. All right. So I have one more beer. All right. Are you up for it? We'll see. It's almost Christmas in July. So you know what that means? No. <laughs> I got a Christmas beer and um, it's the Christmas pickle. Ow, pickles. <laughs> Ow. It's the Christmas pickles. <laughs> um, Urban Artifact Dill Pickle. Uh, it's a Christmas Gosset or Goussard. 
Gose. 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 That, that part's Gose. okay. I hate pickles. 4.3 on the alcohol, 3.58 p- pH. It says pickle, recycle. <laughs> but it's um, the Christmas pickle. And, you know, people, um, when I was younger, we had a... You're killing me. <laughs> when I was younger, we had a Christmas party in July. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, it, it was definitely something. Okay. To say I am not looking forward to this is an understatement. I don't know what it smells like. It doesn't smell like a pickle to me. All right, well. I'll see. I know you're not going to pour it. No, I'm not going to pour that much. Pour a tiny bit of beef in that. Cheers. <laughs> Need some water? beer oh that tastes exactly like a pickle it how do you know you don't even like pickles i can tell you several stories where i've had to eat stuff it, that was mixed it with does pickles. it actually does taste exactly uh, exactly like yeah. a pickle when i was a i'd eat school lunches and i'd tell them to leave the pickle off my stuff and those lunch ladies wouldn't do it they'd put them on there anyway uh, so I, I I mean I definitely taste like it's like pickle juice amplified into you know carbonation. I mean that's wow. Where are you going? I'm jumping this out. It it definitely tastes like a pickle, but you know kind of like um, okay. Other than that, how would you rate it? Is it going well, to be in contention for the winner tonight? Because <laughs> it's not getting my vote. And <laughs> it, I, honestly, it's not a bad beer. You're wanting to get the taste down, aren't you? Um, ready to try that again <laughs> I'll try it again in a minute but right now I'm still trying to get rid of that taste <laughs> he doesn't like pickles none whatsoever or onions well you like onion okay. flavor I love chick-fil-a yeah and unless you tell them to leave the pickle off they put a pickle on it somebody bought me chick-fil-a and I guess I forgot to tell them don't bring me one with pickle I took a bite of it, and it, hmm, I couldn't eat Chick-fil-A for a long time after that. Oh, uh, it's so uh, it definitely has everything going for. It. If you really like a dill pickle, that sort of thing, it tastes like dill pickle. It tastes like the juice of a pickle. I mean that, like, I mean I like not quite as tarty as like a hamburger pickle, but definitely that of a dill pickle. So. Um, it, it, I was, if it was in the running, I'd why, say, yeah. Why would anybody think of making a beer like that? But why do, do they you, make, hold on. Do you make an onion beer, huh? No, but why do they make dill pickle chips? You know, they make I, those. That's been bothering me for years, too. <laughs> they haven't been out that long. But, um, anyway, it's, it's not, it's not that, it's not a bad beer. Um, but... Yeah. If you were, if you like pickles, if you like pickles, it's not because a bad it beer. does taste like pickles. It really does, yes, it really does. Okay, so we're we're back to you need a new glass. No. We're back to the sour, um, sour me, and okay. I'm gonna put it up against this one. Right. Can you retry it? Yeah. 
Well, you just I'll you just you had that. that. Well, let's do the sour, and then I'll okay. do that again. Okay. I didn't. I wasn't trying to taste it whenever I did it again. I was just trying to get rid of that <laughs> pickle taste. Okay, this is the sour meat. Yeah. Pretty good. I remember it being pretty good. Do you drink that. yours? No, I mean. It's got a nice clear um, mm -hmm. color, and um, it's um, it's real light, um, but it it's not the strawberry. Um, it, I taste the mm. strawberry. I don't really taste the raspberry. See, I don't really. I don't. It's not strong enough either way for me. I can't. I can't determine if it's raspberry or strawberry. I mean, just I some can, kind of berry, but but it's good. I like it. Yeah, it's not bad, really. I mean, it's not that sour either. Mm -hmm. I mean, would you say more is like a little bit more tart than sour? Maybe, <clears throat> but it's not. It's nothing that makes you pucker up or anything. No, 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 no. Um. This was by the Duclaw Brewing Company out of Baltimore, Maryland, and it was 7% on the alcohol, in case I didn't say that. But it's... Uh, Maybe that's what we like about it. The 7%? Well, yeah. It goes good with that homemade yep. mix. That's All right. right. That is a good mix, you mean. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Um, so... Had that one out. I guess I should let that out because we're trying to decide right. here. Um, and then this one here. Um, wingling. Wingling, yeah. So tough. I know. Um. No, we can't have a tie. <laughs> if <clears throat> okay, I like the wing wing. Hmm, that surprises me. I thought you'd go for the sour. Well, the do claw. I just, I, you know, everything about this beer, it's not that bad of a beer. I just cannot taste everything that I wanted to in that beer. That always disappoints me. That's a good point. It's a nice, light-bodied beer. I, I can't go against um, the wingling. Is it it's, because it's an Imperial Sour Ale? That's probably why it's not so sour, too. You know, Probably. I'm sure, but... But I would... That's a good beer, too. But I... I can't go against the wing wing. It's it's it's, it's good. just um, it's got a really robust flavor. I don't really know how to describe it. And, and of course, you'll have to go to Herman, Missouri. Um, this was um, by the Turbulence Brewing Company in Herman, Missouri. It's an original um, classic lager, original amber beer. So um, it, but um, anyway, all right. So the sour me is out. Okay. So now we're on to... Don't bring the pickle one out. No. I won't do that to you. Now we're down to the muchach, muchacho, which we have no clue. Um, I don't know much about it. It was okay. I yeah. mean, it was good. Um, but I'm going to retry it again. Yeah. Um, but it... There, I, I mean, I have no idea on the percentage on the alcohol. It's I, by... It's, it's not real strong, I No, can tell it's you that. by Good People Brewing Company. So, yeah. cheers. It 
it's got it's not got enough flavor to win. It's not, it's not bad, but it's I mean, it's not got as much flavor as this does. The wing wing. That's my opinion. It's got a bite right up. It's got a bite right up front. I mean, it's not a bad beer. It's pretty smooth going down. I mean, really, but right, right when, I, right in front. Yeah. But it's got to have something. But it's almost. I would, I would probably take it third. Actually, I like the sour better than that one too. The sour. So yeah. this would be. Um, this would be first. Right. All right. The wingling. Is our winner. Ding, ding, our... ding, ding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you forgot. I remembered. I, well, and I remember. We, we've we been forgetting it. I guess you said. Not that you forgot. But I, but anyway. Um, wingling is our um, winner tonight. Um, Suavecito the... beer of the week. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We're not. We don't do that. <laughs> they don't do. They don't sponsor us. I mean, not at all. Um, but, um, anyway, um, uh, sour meat, uh, double, triple berry is our second. And then, you know, that would be our second pick. Um, I don't even know third and fourth. I don't even want to talk about it, but anyway, um, right. not, not, um, not, not bad beers. Um, yep. um, do you want any more of that? Well, I still drink one of the one you put away there. But. Oh. But um, we uh, that's our winner tonight, yep. and um, thanks for watching. And if you get a chance, like and subscribe, um, and we'll we'll see you next Thursday. Cheers. Yeah.